There it is. I did buy some other stuff as well. Some dash and ice cube trays. Some guitar socks. A boring sink drainer. Okay, so the box is a little bit bashed, but I don't suppose it feels all right. It doesn't feel like it's been too bad. Let's have a look. There we go. First peak. Ooh. Okay. XLR cable. Seems pretty sturdy, actually. Not too bad. A broadcasting and recording microphone. Shock mounts. Um, yeah, not bad. It's not metal, but I've used plastic ones and they seem pretty decent. The microphone itself. Quite weighty, you know. It's not... Um, it's not insignificant in its weight. In fact, I'd say it's about the same as the Aston. Okay, I'm going to go and get this set up and we'll be back. See you in a bit. Hi, Skeet here. And as promised, I'm bringing you the mic comparison with my Aston Spirit microphone and the TF22 clone that I purchased from Timu and it arrived yesterday. So let's delve a little bit deeper. So let's delve a little bit deeper. I'm very much speaking into one of them. I'm very much speaking into the other here. I've used the same setup for both, uh, including the same microphone cable. I have Van Damme cables with Neutrik plugs on. Um, they're running into an Apogee Ensemble interface, Interlogic. Uh, I've even set the preamp at exactly the same gain level, so we can see if one's hotter than the other. We can I'll put some EQ on it later, and we, we can analyse all that as well. I'll also play a little bit of guitar through it. So it's at this point I feel I need to interject. Everything you've heard so far has been recorded on the Aston Spirit microphone, and for good reason. So the clone mic had an earth buzz on it. It started out it wasn't too bad, so I felt that it'd be okay to do a recording and just leave it in there. I EQ'd a little bit of it out, but it really wasn't anything to worry about. There was a rumble at about 50 hertz, which for, you know, vocals, you'd have rolled that off. Arguably on an acoustic guitar, certainly if you were mixing that within a band environment, you'd roll that off. So it, I didn't see it as a problem. When I set the session up, uh, I had the both microphones facing upwards, as you'll see in there. The order in which we recorded was my narrative first, then the acoustic guitars, and then Deborah Jackson from Jackson Williams kindly did some vocals for us. And we just turned the microphones back up. So when we come to record the guitar, I literally just turned the microphones on the stands upside down because they were pointing at the 14th fret next to each other, done the recording, flipped it back over, and Deborah recorded the vocals for us. When it comes to mixing the session, the earth hum had got considerably worse throughout the recording. So I'd set the sound check up, I put my cans on, and then I discarded them so that I wasn't wearing them as I was recording. I must say what you're hearing now is the TF22 clone, and it sounds great. It sounds really good. This mic was 35 pounds, guys. So let's jump back in now. You're gonna hear side-by-side -side tests of the Aston Spirit and the TF22 clone in the upright position uh, from the first take from the, the first bit of the session, uh, where there's a very slight buzz. Um, then you're gonna hear the acoustic guitar and all I've done is flip it. And as I said earlier, interestingly, when I come to mix the acoustic guitar part of the session, it was silent. The TF22 has done a really, really good job. I keep reminding myself it was only 35 pounds. It's done a great job. Let's delve a little deeper. Once I was afraid, I was petrified, thinking I could never live without you by my side. Spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong. Then I grew strong and I learned how to get along. So you're back from outer space. I just walked in and found you here with that look upon your face. So you felt like dropping in and expect me to be free? But I'm saving all my loving for someone who's loving me. Turn around now, because you're not welcome anymore. Right, this is just getting silly. I've just had a quick look now and it appears that the WAV files, the, the, these mics are about as hot as each other, I would say. Until I delve into mixing them, I don't really know what's going on, but I've just had a quick look on the screen and the WAV files are literally, both mics are picking up about the same. If I go closer to this one, if I go closer to this one, obviously the WAV files will uh, increase. So on my right, da, 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 
is the Timu mic. On my left is my trusty Aston Spirit. So that's enough talking, I think, really. I'll go and get the guitar, give me a couple of minutes to get set up. I'll, I'll microphone in the same place and let's see how that sounds. So as I stated earlier, when it comes to recording the guitar, I turned the mics upside down, pointed them at the 14th fret where the neck joins the body. And they're the same distance apart. They were as hot as each other. I'm really impressed with how this guitar is sounding with this 35 pound mic. Sounds good. Shadows have fallen all over town Another night and these blues have got me down Oh misery, I sure could use some company So what are my final thoughts on this microphone? Uh, I was disappointed that it had a buzz on it, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the shock mount is a little bit cheap feeling, but easily replaced, you know. The microphone itself, apart from the hum, I'm really impressed. That's cost me delivered £35, £36, something like that. You're hearing me talking through it now. It sounds great. It, You know, for the money, I think it's untouchable. Is it untouchable? What can you get for £35 that's going to sound this good? £35 quid. It's incredible. Is it as good as the Aston Spirit? No, but the Aston Spirit's, you know, 10 times the price of that. Does this have a place in my toolkit? 100%. I'm disappointed about the Earth Buzz, I'm not gonna lie, but upside down, you know, there's no problem, it's silent. Uh, it's also an Omni mic, so I will do some tests of it um, as a room mic during band rehearsals. Uh, the band is supposed to be recording with the choir soon. I'm definitely gonna throw that into the mix. I think I'll buy another mic from Timu and see how I get on with that, another clone. I've got my eye on a couple. I'll post more results if you're interested in this. Perhaps next time we do a band rehearsal, I'll throw it up in the room and just take a, take a room recording off it, see how we get on with that. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Wasn't that a little turnaround at the end? I wasn't expecting it to sound so good after that buzz had gone. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, do me a favor, send me, give me a like, leave a comment, you know, uh, subscribe, all of that stuff really helps, helps me create more content. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care.